So we have the situation where the revenue in dollars for selling Q items is given by R of Q equals 400Q minus 2Q squared, and the costs for producing Q items, also given hundreds, in, just given in dollars, is given by C of Q equals 100 plus 4Q. What quantity gives the maximum profit? Now we don't have a profit function here, but the profit is going to be our revenue, all the money we take in, minus our costs. So, a couple options, you know, since <coughs> we're going to be uh, finding the derivative to get the uh, critical value, we don't necessarily need to combine the functions, that's up to you. So 400q minus 2q squared minus 100 plus 40q. Now, the derivative, we want to find if there's any critical values. It's just the derivative of r minus the derivative of q. We know that from our properties of derivatives. So, the derivative of r is 400 minus 4q. And the derivative of c is just 40. So we get 360 minus 4q. <clears throat> gives our derivative of our profit. We're going to set that to zero. And solving that for Q is going to give us 90. Now we should get in the habit of checking whether or not this is a max or a min. To do that, we want to check the second derivative of the profit. Well, our first derivative is here. Our second derivative, of, which is the derivative of this, is just negative 4. Remember what that means. If the second derivative is negative, it means it's concave down. That means that if we have a critical point, it's going to be a positive, or excuse me, it's going to be a max by our second derivative test. And so, <clears throat> 90 is going to be our amount of units that gives us a maximum profit.